and welcome to a new video. My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog. Today I have um, a video for you where I show you a few different flip books. So basically, I f whenever I finished one of those flip books, I just filmed a little project share uh, before I sent them off. So it's like a little compilation video. I was actually working on different videos for to die but it wasn't really going the way I wanted to. I've been editing videos all day um, and well I finally I finished I nearly finished one other video that I wanted to do and then I realized that it was a video that also had a an envelope a video as well so basically what I usually like to do is um, upload the envelope decorating video first and then the happy meal that I made so oh, I had to do something else luckily I still had these videos from different flip books I made uh, over the last couple of months but I do have to say they're a little bit old so some of the stuff that I say is not really relevant anymore like I talk about Nouveau Crystal Drops for the first time back then I only had two colors and now I have I don't know 10 or something and also I filmed this in most of it I filmed in June or July so it was still very very hot back then so just a heads up anyway I'm gonna let you go to the video now I really hope you enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more and um, leave me a comment which f uh, flip book is your favorite Oh, one more thing. Um, I have mentioned this so many times, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I have uploaded my very, very first vlog. I started a, a second YouTube channel called Vivian's Vlogs a little while ago. I never uploaded it, anything to it, but I uploaded a video yesterday. So that vlog includes super exciting life updates, some health updates, maybe a little bit less exciting, cat cafe updates, and of course, noose. So if you wanna watch that, I will link it down below. Yay! This flip book that I have here is for a swap pot swap, and the swap is called Happy Meal Plus Squeeze. I organized it myself, <laughs> so I know the guidelines pretty well. And what I did is I have these acrylic paint sprays. They're really cheap. Oh, sorry, excuse my cat sprays I don't know how you call them uh, as you can see dark blue light blue and a green because she said that her favorite colors were blue and green <laughs> so I use them to spray the front of this flip book and the envelope and I kind of like the effect that it gives it's kind of playful and um, yeah, I, I, I'm covering her up her address because I don't want to show you that I'm putting the envelope aside now so I made a little flip book and I will show you the inside just closed it with a pretty blue ribbon and it says hey daisy and then what I did is I used a polaroid frame um, and I, I don't know if you can see it but I used blue twill so this is twill and that is holding the sequins and glitter in place I put some green blue and white uh, and see through sequins in here and it creates a fun little pocket. I really love this idea It's really really annoying to make because working with twill and glue it doesn't really work together But it's stuck on here pretty well I'm not gonna touch it anymore <laughs> And I really like the end result. I glued down some buttons and, and some die kits and Some washi tape here. I really like the way this looks. I'm actually really happy when you open it, you open it like this, and then here we have a little collage that I made with washi tape. I doodled on here with a white gel pen, I don't know if you can see that. And I used these die cuts from We Heart Confetti. Put some stamps, a sticker, and that's just a fun touch to decorate this envelope. I made this envelope myself from some mint green prop, uh, paper. Here we just have some stickers, it says elements, and in this pocket are a whole bunch of die cuts that I really like. And she said that she also likes die cuts. Then another collage, uh, it says, so the adventure begins. I, in the background I used, I don't know how you call it, it's basically punched paper. So there's a design on here and I thought it looked nice because the, the card itself, I just used a card as base, an empty wishing card, greeting card, um, because that's just light yellow and I just put it over there. And I used this butterfly die cut with some foam tape. No, please stop scratching the couch. Yes. Excuse my cat. Excuse my cat. I think thunder might be coming because always when thunder is coming, she becomes really annoying. And she's currently scratching the couch. Hello. Ah, 
um, yep, yeah, used a butterfly die cut and uh, some foam tape behind that to elevate it. And um, this is a wax, wax seal stamp that I got from someone in a swap. I make my own as well, but I thought it would be fun because it matches the color quite well. Put some doodles around the edges. And then this is actually, this little page is actually my favorite part of this uh, entire flip book. Um, I used a die cut that says hello note to write a little note and then the back was just blank. So I put some tissue paper over it because um, it's nice and nice and noose, copy now. Hey! And then I put some blue tissue paper over it because it's really nice and light. And I really like the color of this tissue paper, especially with everything else. I put a die cut that says hello summer and I just cut out a piece of paper to make it look like a flag. And then I have these two die cuts from We Heart Confetti again, just like these ones. I put some foam tape behind this so it stands out a little bit more. And then I um, doodled around the edges with a white gel pen again did some decorations and my favorite part are these Nouveau crystal drops just have these um, they are little glue containers and you can dot the page basically and you can make your own little NML dots just really love the way that looks so this is my favorite page a little note for her on the back not really interesting and then this is just a pocket that I made just put a piece of paper on here and then I used washi tape to decorate because I actually glued it down and this the blue die cut again says love being together and I punched out these hearts uh, from some blue paper and I don't know if you can see it but here's actually also a stamp from a bird and then in this page in this pocket we have some more goodies 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 love goodies I'm gonna show you these I'm not gonna show you the die cuts because there's just too many in there also I put some baker's twine because who doesn't love baker's twine uh, we have some printed paper because she says that she likes scrapbooking paper so this I thought she would like and then this is a vintage playing card with um, Dutch flowers and butterflies again and then this is a stack of Project Life cards once again something that she said she likes and I thought all together this was just a fun little package um, that I'm going to send off to her um, the only uh, the guidelines for this swap were 50 grams and at least three different pages or elements so uh, I think I did that quite all right so I think I, I did all right <laughs> it's my own swap I really hope so um, and I'm sending this off to Germany On the back it just says handmade uh, thank you for joining my swap and then my name not really special but I don't know yep okay so another little outgoing package that I have uh, as you can see I haven't decorated the envelope yet but I really love these craft paper envelopes I'm gonna decorate that later today when I have some inspiration anyway um, I'm going to show you this little package. First off, I have these three gift bags because uh, this is for someone who is just getting into swaps, so she can always use them. And some doilies, gotta love big doilies. And making this package was a little bit difficult because she approached me on Instagram and she made a swap bot especially for this swap, but she didn't fill out her profile, so she just said that she likes colorful stuff so uh, <laughs> I went with that and then we have this little package um, that says flow goodies and I really love sending flow goodies from the flow magazine because um, that's just something that other countries do not have I'm not gonna take this out but this is a piece of letter paper uh, with a little bicycle design on it it's very pretty and cute and this one yeah I'm sorry I cannot show you but it's another piece of letter paper uh, with a little dog I just like the way it's wrapped, so I'm just keeping it uh, like that. And then in the same bicycle design, I also have a little tag and a little card that go with the bicycle. That go with the letter paper, I mean, so then it's a nice matching set. And then I have these stickers that go with the other piece of letter paper. 
So these are all the goodies, and then I also have a flip book for her. Uh, I tried something new. I uh, closed it with one of these little binder clips. I really love the color. And then on the front it just says enjoy every moment. I decorated it with this pom pom garland, some washi tape, stickers, um, nouveau crystal drops, a butterfly, another puffy sticker. And uh, these are, I think these might be actually the nicest pages that I have made in a flip book in quite a while. I'm so happy with how this looks. I don't know if I'm the only one, but um, first what I did is I made this page. It's actually, this page is only, I mean this paper is only one-sided. So this was just blank. So what I did is I used my watercolor uh, and a brush to just basically make some brush strokes, some stripes on here, and it looked so pretty as a background. And I also like that because then I don't have to add any weight uh, because uh, to back this paper, I, I can just use that weight for goodies. Um, so, and I used this a little card with together time. I actually circled it with a white gel pen, but you cannot really see that. And then I used uh, some more of the die cuts. They're all from the Tea Light Tool collection from Pebbles. And I used my crystal neural drops again to uh, make, yeah, to put some dots next to this card. And I used a lot of NML dots on this page as well. I don't know, it's maybe a bit too much, but I kind of like the way it looks. Oh, and also I used um, this special like binding style that I told you guys about in the tea party video. So if you want to see how I did this, uh, there's a tutorial online. I cannot, I don't know what her name is now, but just go to the tea party video and then in the description I will show, I will put the link to the video that explains how to do that. Sorry for my rambling. And then this page has this very cute yeah, tea party related. Um, paper design and I use a green doily here to just decorate the page a little bit and I use my paper punches to punch out some uh, circles and a heart and I use this cute little see-through bag with white dots to put a lot of uh, die kits in and they are all from We Heart Confetti, you know, the Dutch Etsy shop that I mentioned quite a lot of times. They're all from the same Etsy shop and they're very cute and you cannot get them anywhere else uh, bought in that We Heart Confetti uh, show. So I really like sending them because it's like kind of original, I think. And the next page, there's just this uh, little design with bows on the back, uh, bow ties. And then the, the, the green doily from the other page, I just flipped it around and then I kind of liked the way that looked. So I just stuck it down, used a gift uh, bag and I put some stickers in here. And these are so cute. I don't want to send them away, but I mean, I hope I can make someone else happy with them. Mm. Yeah, okay, so these are just some loose stickers. I cannot reach them, so I will just leave them in there. And we have these stickers from Sostrene Grene. They're all circle stickers. I love circle stickers. You can use them for closing envelopes or for decorating. These are very cute. They are from the same sheet, and these are from the same sheet. And then these are just adorable. They're from Flying Tiger, and they're gold foil, as you can see. They are so pretty. Uh, it's kind of difficult for me to part with them, but um, I really hope that she will like them too. Uh, by the way, this swap is going to India, which is my first time swapping uh, with someone from India. Also my first time sending there, and it will also be the first time I receive something from India. That's kind of cool. And the next page has a, a nice fruity tea. I just made these little corner pockets with some scraps of paper and then, I don't know, I kind of like the way that looks and then I, I wrote, let's have some tea over here, uh, washi tapes, die cuts, I don't know, and I, I thought it looked a little bit empty so then I used a black pen to just go around the edges to doodle a little bit. I always like the way that looks. Just gives it a little bit more of a finished look. And then I have made her a little, I wrote her a little letter here. This is actually just a piece of paper, but I, <laughs> I draw, I drew a, an envelope on here, and then I used these incredibly cute uh, unicorn stickers. They're puffy stickers, and they're so pretty. Uh, but with things like these stickers, it's difficult for me to use, just like it is difficult for me to send these stickers. But in the end, I will just hoard them forever. So I thought, okay get it over with and start using them. 
And then I decorated this page, uh, again, like a little girly theme. I decorated it with these little donut stickers and this, um, this planner sticker that says little things. And then I put these cute uh, little sticky notes on here, wish, dream and sparkle. And then uh, this is actually two pages put together as a little pocket. And in here I put some goodies. Them out. Oh. Uh, okay, so we have this little quote that says, Let's celebrate something. And this is actually vellum paper or acetate, I don't know, whatever. And so that's really uh, nice to use and to decorate something. And then these are very, I, I really like sending this. These are wax seal stamps that I made. So I just made them on a piece of baking parchment. And then you can carefully peel them off and she can just use glue or whatever and she can stick them on something. And I made her, I made her six, I think, or seven. I don't know, but I just made some of my favorite designs, some of my favorite colors. Really hope she will like them. And then the last thing that is in this flipbook is a little bag with all these beautiful stickers and sometimes I make bags with stickers that are all a mix, a big mix of everything but these are actually um, from three sticker bags that are the same from the same brand, <laughs> just different colors so this is all, if I would take it out, but I'm not gonna because I already closed the bag if I would take it out it would just all be aesthetically pleasing and they all match so I just thought that was really nice and then the back is just uh, this I love this donut paper and I just wrote uh, thank you for this swap and a little bit more but uh, that's not that interesting so this is my finished little uh, flip book and swap I'm going to send this off to India and hopefully I will uh, it will receive it will arrive there <laughs> safe and sound okay this is another one of these loaded greeting cards um, we are doing a swap in our Dutch Swapper Swap Pod group. <laughs> uh, it's organized by Jessica. And um, I showed you how to do one of these in a different video a little while ago. I will sh put the link in the description box down below. But um, I actually asked the swap host, Jessica, if she wanted to do private swap with me, private version. So this is the one that I'm going to send to her. So this is a loaded greeting card. And basically you just pick a greeting card and you fill it with goodies so i try to make it uh, a little bit different and i use different colors than i normally would but i think it turned out pretty nice so I'll go to this page first we have a little um project life card here with a little paper clip just simple but i like it that way when you flip it up you have a bag with different floral stickers in here just different cute ones that i really like and uh, it's kept in place with this little paper clip that I mentioned before. I decorated it with these very pretty um, Maggie Holmes Flourish die cuts. Uh, I don't know, simple, but I think it looks nice. And then this page has, um, I didn't want to overdo it because I already received her swap and she also didn't uh, decorate it completely. So I didn't want to, you know, I wanted to uh, stay with the swap guidelines so I made a little pocket here this is just a little pocket I used all paper from the same um, the same paper pack I don't know by heart which one it is but I never really use it because of the colors but I actually think this turned out quite okay so I made a little pocket <sighs> sorry I'm going um, and in this pocket is a little card that says you are my sunshine and I put these initial crystal drops on here and there is also a piece of paper a piece of printed paper because um, I read on her profile that she likes to do summer themes and then there will also be my letter so my letter is also going in here um, and then I just put some stickers and some crystal drops on here as well to make it look a little bit more fun washi type and some doodles and then we have this little uh, another little um, project life card I think I got them in a swap I don't know if they're from the same collection I think so I don't know which collection I'm sorry <clears throat> but I really love how this little um, collage turned out so what I did is I again I used the Maggie Holmes flourish die cuts I put this one on a bit of frame tape so you have it slightly elevated 
I made a little collage with all these little elements and these <laughs> they look like crystal or nuvo drops or enamel dots but actually this is just wax seal sealing wax I don't know because I mixed gold and white and then I had some left and I just dropped it on the paper so I could reuse it or remelt it but it actually looked kind of cute as these dots I just glued them on the paper I'm sorry for my voice by the way I'm a little bit sick so I thought they'd look really cute and then when you open it and there is my favorite one of my favorite teas uh, English breakfast tea my clipper because I read that she likes black teas um, and here is a little washi tape sample uh, I read that she likes under the sea and summer and cute stuff so I thought I'd include some washi tape samples I decorated this page again with one of the papers from the pack and the doily and some uh, a flamingo sticker and some more of the Nuvo crystal drops and then this little envelope I made a little envelope again and in here is uh, just a washi tape sample because I, I know from Instagram that she likes Starbucks themed items so there I got a washi tape sample in one of my pen pal letters and I thought I would send it to her because I think she has better use for it and some twine that I think looks very cute and then I mm, I think this will be my swap um, and uh, I can go up to 50 grams so I'll just put this in the envelope and then see how much more I can add <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cute and the card by the way is from Sustrain again Okay, so I'm doing a quick little project share of this tiny Happy Meal that I'm making for March. I'm not going to show you all of the goodies that I'm going to send, but I just wanted to show you this little booklet, um, which has super cute sticky notes, and I think they're very cute. Uh, I don't even use sticky notes that often, but when I see something like this, I just want to buy it and send it to one of my pen pals. As a cup cute cupcake and a cute cactus and some other fun elements. That's just one of the goodies and this is the little happy meal that I made her. I have been feeling, you know, a little bit creatively in a slump. <laughs> I have that sometimes and I just thought I would like create all sorts of little elements and see where I go from there. So I created all these little elements and then I thought I would turn it into a little happy meal. So this is what I did. Um, I'm actually quite pleased. So this is like basically the first page. I just used my circle punch to punch out a two inch circle. And then I used these beautiful letter stickers that I got from Elizabeth in Swap. They're so pretty because they are like light pink and they have these little flowers on the corners of the letters. So I just wrote Marge with them. I just put this little uh, paper clip. I really like this color. I got them from Sustaine Grena. It's just a paper clip. I was actually thinking of putting something like stickers or something behind it but because it's like so tight it doesn't really work so i thought i would just leave it like this so that i can still move and then i made um these little elements here with the new crystal drops in duck egg glue and then the next page yeah unfortunately you cannot really see it but the the thing is that you have to take it apart to take out the goodies so i thought it, it didn't really matter if this is just like to showcase it a little bit. So I just decorated this, I just circled a glass. I don't know how big this is. And then I uh, had this pretty paper from my swap with Starlifix. <laughs> Go check it out if you like. Uh, she sent me this pretty paper. I just cut out a piece. Again, I decorated it with the Nouveau Crystal Drops, the Buttermilk, the Bubblegum Blush, and this is Honey Gold, I believe. And then again, I also received these butterfly stickers. I have this one, really pretty light pink and gold. And this one, which is like darker pink and gold as well. I received them again from Elizabeth. She sent me so many incredible goodies. I also did an unboxing in one of the What My Pen Pals Sent Me videos. She sent me these beautiful butterfly stickers and they're super cute. And I thought they matched the page really well. And then, yeah, if you take it apart, you can see it better. But here we have uh, these little sort of like shimmery stickers that I got from Sahara as well. I thought that was quite cute. And then this is just, I'm not going to take out the goodies because that's too much, but this is just a vellum paper pocket that I made. I also got this paper from Sahara again, thank you. It's so pretty. And I've just made a little pocket here. And this paper on the back is actually a recycled sticker packaging. 
<laughs> I just like the color pink. And I used again the Neva Crystal Drops because it's like nearly exact the same, exactly the same colors, pink and green as the paper. Then I put in a bunch of random goodies. The next page I just cut out a little tag and decorated the the edges with uh, a um, fine liner. I thought it looked quite okay. I really like this paper, so I didn't want to do too much to it. And then I have this. I don't know what it is. It's like a die cut with glitters, but they come off a little bit, so I shouldn't touch it too often. I got it in a swap. And then this is a little washi tape sample that I put on here with a little um, ladybug paper clip. They're so cute. This is a washi tape sample, and these washi tapes are from Blonde Amsterdam. I think I've mentioned it before. They're like a Dutch. Um, designer duo and they make one set of washi tape every year so it's like a limited edition I think it's really really cute you have like the milkshake and the ice cream the donuts and the hamburgers and I thought I would send her a sample because um, they are quite special and I really personally really like them and then we're already at the final page I just decorated this to say a letter and I put one of my planner stickers here just you know this is also recycled sticker packaging I really like this print then I put this huge uh, pink paper clip here and my letter is in the back. And as you can see, this is like recycled sticker packaging. So there was like a bag of stickers here, but it was so cute. I didn't want to throw it away. I thought I would use it in this way. But this is just like, like a teeny tiny snail mail that I made for her because I wanted to do something a little bit special, but I, di I didn't feel that creative. So, um, but I'm actually quite pleased with how it turned out in the end. So that is um, this happy mail and I was sending it off with some goodies. That's already it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Um, don't forget to check out my vlog channel if you like. Um, leave a comment. I'm sorry, I'm really tired. I've been editing videos all day. Leave a comment if you like. Don't forget to subscribe. I probably already said that, but you know, I just really like getting in touch with you. I also want to say really, really quickly that I reached 1900 subscribers. Yay! I'm so excited. Um, so on Monday, we will have uh, the P.O. Box opening number three online and then part one because it's so long it needed two parts and then part two will be online on Tuesday, I think, or Wednesday. Um, but I am going, I'm also going to my P.O. Box again this Saturday. So if you uh, if you send me a letter or a mail or whatever, uh, just maybe keep an eye on my Instagram because I always upload a picture of the mail that came in in my stories so I have a story highlight called PO box and if you click that you can see a picture of all of the incoming mail I I would also like to show this on YouTube just so you guys know that your mail arrived safely and that the opening video is coming online because obviously I'm showing all of your mails in the video but sometimes it might take a while before it's online. So um, maybe I will, in the future, I might actually do a picture of the incoming meal at the beginning of a video. Just, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts and I hope to see you guys again very, very soon. Bye.